But what you could say here, which I think is very important to say, is that we we don't make ourselves devoid of, of the past as an explanatory factor, even more important than before. But I think what we want to see more clearly is how modernity is being, in a sense, expanded rather. How it involves, embraces more the relationship with the natural world, with, with the planetary. And, and again, you Ursula has this planetary imagination, very important. That is also local. The planetary is scaling from the local to the, to the planetary. And if we could understand and even politi politicize uh, our society using words like social class, capitalism, socialism, uh, and use the conceptual uh, tools from ideologies and social sciences, we need now to, or rather, let me put it this way, it would be childish not to include the broader natural uh, relationships. So, so and this is just a too long answer to a, to, a, to a very interesting question, but I think it, it, it inspires me to, to really try to articulate what modernity might mean today. So nature is now being also somehow modernized. <coughs> and, and that's why I'm so fond of this concept of environment, that we actually are human subjects and human agents in doing that. And some of this historiography hasn't been carried out. It's in the making. 